being a student that was repeating her metric there was a lot of pressure there was a lot of expectations from me because obviously i'm repeating i'm doing this for the second time and i have to do well <laughs> it's expected but one thing that i've realized is that just because you're repeating a grade does not necessarily mean that you're going to excel the sun ooh, ooh, it's setting okay hi guys my name is seven zero and if you're new here welcome and if you're a 10 subscriber welcome back on this channel i do have fashion and lifestyle content so if you like the sound of that please do consider subscribing down below and hit the notifications bell so that you get notified each time i upload a new video so without any further ado let's get straight into the video so on today's video you guys we're gonna be talking about metric metric results specifically how i got an a in mathematics so oh the light okay let me fix the light let me try to fix the light for you guys Okay, let me just get closer to you guys. Okay, now up, up close and personal right now. Okay, so I'm so sorry, you guys. This is the only angle I could get. My ring light broke, and I'm using natural light. Okay, so uh, besides that, um, I wanted to share with you guys how I got an A in math. I matriculated back in 2017, and I thought, why not share this information because it might help someone out there who's currently in matric. So if you're interested in that content. Please do consider watching this video up until the last second. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Yeah. Baby. So to give you a little bit of a background story, in 2017 I decided that I should repeat my metric. So I went to class for the second time full time in 2017 and during that time honestly a lot was going on I was really very much sure that I want to get great marks and specifically I want to get great marks in math and physical sciences because growing up I've always been told that these two subjects are very difficult and it's, it's almost impossible to get an A in math and an A in physics when you're in grade 12. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go out there and do it. And I made it and I got my A in math and physics and I was very much happy about it. Okay, so now let's jump straight into how I managed my time throughout my matric from the first quarter to the second quarter. And I'm so sorry that I'm bringing you guys this video literally on the second quarter. But I feel like you still have time to catch up on whatever you are left behind with regarding school. So without any further rambling again, let's get straight into the video. The first thing that I did, obviously, was to attend all my classes. Yes, I attended all my classes. Um, I would skip other classes, like I would skip a life science class, I would skip an English class, but I would never skip a math class. So I didn't bank at all. Secondly, what I did is practicing math every day. Every single day. There was no day that went by that I didn't do math i'd rather do one question like one question and like call it a day but i would never go a day without practicing math what worked for me honestly was like whatever little information that i knew whatever that i understood be it trigonometry Euclid and geometry whatever that i understood from that chapter i made sure that i extend my help to my fellow students so let's take now we are on, on trigonometry I would go out there and like just ask any random student i'm like hey do you understand trigonometry um do you mind if we do a couple of questions together and we do a couple of questions together and if i get it right and they don't get it right i would explain to them freely so like i always make sure that i go out there to assist someone and this is wasn't my way of bragging but most of like trying to also understand from my own point of view and make sure that uh, I'm a little <laughs> and making sure that I also understand deeply of the things that I am saying or the things that I think I understand. Okay. This fourth point is working with a book that is good for you. Study material that's good for you or the one that you understand. That one book that I recommend, that I would recommend if you were to ask me about mathematics that helped me a lot was Platinum. Guys, Platinum is the girl that she thinks she is. Platinum has everything literally and everything is just in simple terms and most of the things that are in platinum you'll find them in your question paper or similar to that so the way in which they will ask questions in the platinum book it's literally how it's being asked in the exam so chances are if you know how to answer questions using the platinum book you are more likely to know how to answer your 
your cotton paper in exams the next point is practice practice don't just practice with like let's take you're using the book platinum or answer series don't just use that only add more like add other stuff add cotton papers most importantly cotton papers I'm, i don't think if you start in january you're gonna even finish those cotton papers by the end of the year chances are you might not even finish all of them and i'm talking about all the cotton papers from all provinces download them go online download cotton papers practice so let's take now you are at financial and mathematics make sure that you do as many questions as possible on that topic of financial and mathematics you get it so the the next point is that don't be don't be scared or too boastful or too egotistic to ask questions so let's take it's me and you right it's me it's me and you so let's take we're writing a test out of 150 probably let's take when you were you are good at it that you'd get one 140 out of 150 and i'm not so great maybe i'll get um a eight or nine out of 150 but only to find out what not as a topic here when you're struggling with and then i'm good at it you get it as much as when i got higher marks than i did there's a topic here when i like you don't you're not good at it and i'm good at it like i excel at it don't be too proudful or too egotistic to come to me as much as i'm not doing as great as you but in, in that topic you know, when I, like you're not good at it i'm good at it so come to me so that i can assist you with that topic you get it so what i would say is go out there and ask for help from anyone no one's really above anyone be humble enough to go out there and ask someone to help you out with your schoolwork another point i would like to add is working in groups is very much helpful I'm um, working with people that are very determined and are looking forward to getting great marks. I did like to get great marks because as a human being, honestly, there are days where you feel like not doing anything. But if you have that workforce where people, if you do feel like doing it, they're going to push you to do it, then you're in good hands. You need that kind of circle in your life. You need those kind of people in your life to help you out with reaching your goal. Another point is that this one, I got it from this other person on youtube i think it was gift varsity he was interviewing this other guy i don't i don't remember probably i'll put a, a thumbnail here of the video that i'm talking about so i was listening to this guy who got 100 in mathematics and i was so in awe of that i mean i'm not only in matrix but like you know i love people that do well with their studies because i understand how hard it can be sometimes so this guy says in the video that as he was assessing himself he noticed that he, he obviously has some weaknesses and he took it upon himself to make sure that he focuses on his weaknesses so that one particular topic that you don't understand like i've already said previously on the previous point that you should also focus on that thing or go to people to help you with that topic that you don't understand so he said that he went out there to like address his weaknesses which is something that i think i left the reason why i didn't get you know above 90 or 90 something is because i didn't focus on my weaknesses so there were topics like um the first one yeah paper one yeah sequences patterns and sequences or sequences and patterns something like that i hated that chapter like i hated it with everything in me i don't even wanna i don't even know where to start like i hated it so much that i just didn't care about it so i remember even in the exam i was like the minute i come across one question that i don't understand i'm moving on to the next one i'm not even gonna bother myself because i know this this topic i'm not good at it so i would say if like had i known better i would have put more effort into making sure that i understand that topic because i feel like it also contributed to me not getting the mark that i desired or at least like well i got an a but it's an a minus because it's in the 80s so I could have gotten an A plus, which is in the 90s, if only I had put my work or like focused on my weaknesses. You get it. I'm done filming, but I just remembered that I left an important point, which is making use of the internet to to study each and every topic that you might be struggling with. So I realized that I was very late to the game, basically. So I never really made use of the internet, such as YouTube. It's been in YouTube, you guys. They read. The red app is everything, okay? The red app is everything, and whatever that you need uh, relating to school, you're gonna find it here. It's really metric stuff. There's a lot of tutors here online who are willing to help you guys. So make use of YouTube, 
make use of youtube whatever topic that you have in mind just type it okay just type it and you're gonna get you're gonna get everything basically whatever that you want to learn use youtube so i hope this video made sense to you guys um, so please do subscribe and watch my videos and share and share if you care and i'll see you guys on my next upload bye